after consistently working with over a dozen thriving brands in the past couple of years. I'm about to share with you in today's video what is the one common trait that all successful e-commerce brand owners have. My name is Justin and I'm the founder of Wizzle Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, as well as turn on post notifications to be one of the first to know about these cutting edge e-commerce marketing tips post on the channel every week. Look, I've been asking myself that same question for these past couple of weeks and months. I've been thinking, you know, why are we sometimes seeing brands that are stuck at, you know, five, 10, 15, $20,000 per month, not being able to move past that. And we're seeing brands that within six months of time, they're already, you know, making a million dollar a month run rate. And I'm not talking about simple drop shipping brands. Even then, even with drop shipping, it still is, pretty incredible to reach that point. But I'm thinking about building a great brand, great product. Why is it that some people succeed faster than others? And the answer that kind of popped to my mind after listening to a podcast and kind of having reflected on that question for quite a while is the following. Great brands do not persuade people to buy. They show people how they can help. And let me explain what I mean by this is you'll see a lot of brands investing into paid advertising, doing a lot of organic content, a lot of influencer content, and they're building a brand just on the brand's image. That's it. There's no actual value being delivered behind that. So they consistently have to persuade people to buy their products. This is why, you know, if tomorrow they stop ads, they stop essentially their partnerships with influencers, they're going to the ground, they'll fail, nobody will search for their products. Whereas brands that have something, a product that without even advertising, this is something that people would search for and want for because they're solving a very specific problem and they're appealing to a very specific type of people. This is where these brands succeed because without even turning on any marketing forms, they're already getting sales. And this is what we're seeing with our most successful clients. Look, we have a wide range of brands depending on brand size here at the agency. Our you know, smallest brands right now are spending about 100 to $200 a day. You know, we have some brands spending closer to four or five thousand dollars a day and even more in some cases um, that just to tell you that we have a pretty big range of brands and we're seeing that across this different range of brands so some of them are you know they have to have ads on if ads are not live they're not getting that many sales they do rely a lot on marketing whereas others is we could leave ads off forever they don't even need us as an agency and they're still able to get sales the only thing that we come in and do as an agency, we amplify that, we scale that even further, is imagine you're already doing good, then you can do you know, good, good. So this is what we help them do essentially. But that just tells you, this is the, the healthiest form that a brand can take. And that all comes down to your initial product market fit. And I see a lot of people being stubborn and having some ego about their products. And I've met brand owners literally spending 150 to $300,000 a month on ads and wondering why when they turn off ads, they're not doing good with their brand or they're probably not even getting sales at all for that matter. And that's just because they've created a product that relies on marketing. Their product is not sustainable enough. They, they, there's no appeal in the market for that product without being in front of people all day long. Funny enough, I think this is where Google ads kind of come into play because if you have Google search ads as an example, this is really where you can leverage that you can see the intent of people behind your type of product and brand. And I think if you're an e-commerce brand owner watching this right now, I recommend you do some keyword research as if you were about to, to do some Google ads before you know you, you, you work on a new product, new collection and whatnot, to see are people even looking for this? Is this something that people are looking to purchase or are the people looking to buy that? And if so, what are they looking for? You know, what search terms are they using? What what how can you match their intents with what you out to create. But that's the thing. A lot of people will look at the current trends or look at past trends to predict the future. But people that actually succeed and make it into this game are people that look into the future first to see 
what exactly would work a couple of months or a couple of years down the line. And this is a very difficult thing to do, obviously, because by looking at the future, you usually tend to look at the past and the present, but you're gonna have to forget about these two and just sort of predict through your own marketing experience, through your own you know market experience about what would happen and what would people want a couple of years from now. But yeah, to come back to my point, Google ads are kind of a great thing when it comes to searching for intent, because with ads like, again, Facebook, TikTok, or pretty much any of that, any platforms for that matter, they don't work on intent. They just work on you being in front of people and just basically having these people buy, which again is good, but you cannot solely rely on that. You have to create something strong enough to rely on its own. No Google, no Facebook, no whatsoever advertising. You just want people to search for that organically and come across your brand as the ultimate solution for this. And I mentioned at first, you wanting to help people rather than persuade them, you know, with help becomes much easier for you as a brand to showcase yourself as a help or as a solution to a problem. And from a marketing standpoint, it's very nice to take the consumer from, Hey, this is your problem. We're a solution. We're helping you out to get from a to Z. That's basically what you're doing in this case, where a lot of people is, hey, this is our product, buy now. Okay, why should I buy now? Are you solving a problem? What are you doing? What do you got to person like, what are you, why are you trying to make me buy it right now? Why are you not explaining to me what you're actually about? So if you're not where you want to be yet with your e-commerce brand, I recommend you take a step back, focus on your product and ask yourself the following question. Are you actually solving a need for your customers? And are you more trying to persuade them to buy or actually helping them by showing them the right way to purchase and the right way to your solution. Now, if you're an e-commerce brand or store owner making at least twenty to thirty thousand dollars a month with your brand, I invite you to click on the first link in the description down below to book in a very short. 15 minute demo call with myself on that call. We'll take a look at your business, see if you're a good fit for our e-commerce marketing program. And if that's the case, we'll end up helping you scale your brand. And if not, worst comes to worst, you'll leave with free actionable insights to implement on your own. Make sure you check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips, and I'll see you in next video. Peace.